it's iPhone season and I am excited. If you just got your brand new iPhone 15 Pro or 15 Pro Max in, I have some of the best phone making accessories that you can use on these devices. And I got a ton because Moment came through and sent me a lot of stuff, but I also have some budget options from Amazon that I picked up as well. For the people who don't necessarily have the budget to buy the Moment stuff or you just wanna be cheap, I respect it. What I will say is that the Moment stuff is pretty much better in every single scenario, but one which I'll get to once we talk about these items. So. Without further ado, man, let's just hop straight into it. The iPhone that I picked up is the Natural Titanium iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm not a Max guy. I can't lie to you. My phone before this was the Mini. So this is a huge adjustment for me, but I wanted to get this out to basically just test out the cameras and get some YouTube content in, but I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be a struggle for me throughout this year. But let's just hop straight into this video, man. I'm yapping too much. All right, so the first attachment right here is from Moment. This is the Moment uh max safe mount so this right here doesn't really look like much is happening to be completely honest with you so so you just attach that to the back of the phone via magsafe the really cool thing about the new iphones and pretty much uh, all of the other iphone models over the past couple of years is magsafe and this gives so much opportunity to mount things to the phone so this attachment right here essentially just gives you a bunch of different mounting points on the back of your phone a bunch of quarter 20 threads some three eighths and one really cool use case for this that i can see is using this for car mount shots. I love car mount shots and the fact that I could just attach the quick release plate from my ball head to the back of my phone, be able to set up some cool stylistic shots with the iPhone in the car is dope. But you can use this for pretty much anything, man. These holes, the quarter 20 and the three eighths just allow for so many different mounting options. You can attach a tripod, obviously, but pretty much any other thing that attaches via quarter 20 or three eighths you got that on the back of your phone. The next thing that I wanna show you are these tripod mounts for Moment. Now these both do connect via uh, MagSafe on the back of the iPhone, and there are two different versions. So this is the Pro version right here, which has a hot shoe mount on the top, you can see that. And then the regular version just does not have a hot shoe mount. They both connect via uh, quarter 20 threads on the bottom of the phone. Let me just show you exactly how these work. So essentially, you just slap this right on the back of your phone like so. And then you have the option to attach an accessory to the top of the phone via hot shoe. And then you have the quarter 20 thread at the bottom to be able to attach something else. So I have this small Manfrotto tripod that I've had forever. And this is just great for creating content with. So you screw that in, the tripod mount. And now you have a really cool way to be able to hold your phone on the front of you to grab content. And then you also have this uh, hot shoe attachment up here at the top. If you want to throw a microphone on there, you want to throw uh, a hot shoe light on there, you can do that as well. This is just a really cool attachment um, and I like it a lot. Like I said, this is the pro version right here that has the hot shoe on the top of it, but that's what it looks like. This is a cool little attachment as well. And uh, I think it simplifies the process of getting content on the go. The next item that I wanna show you guys is this microphone. This is the Rode Video Mic Me, but it's the USB-C version for the brand new iPhones because now we have USB-C, which is awesome. So. The really great thing about this microphone, obviously, is that you can get crispy audio. It just goes straight into the USB-C port on the iPhone, and you can use it to get really cool voice memos for content that you might be filming, or if you're vlogging, you can obviously switch it the other way. You can throw this with the tripod mount onto a mini tripod like so. Let me screw that in there real quick. Now you got this really cool minimal vlogging setup that you can just be out on the go creating content with. You wanna get reels, you can do that. If you want to um, obviously vlog, you can do that as well. Or if you just wanna be able to get some crispy audio with you filming, this thing works clutch as well. I like this and this is what the audio Man. sounds like from it. This is like my favorite park at this current moment because it's so close to my house. But right now I'm filming on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm using the Rode Video Mic Me C. Also I have Pro Mist on, I'm filming the log, Pro Res. It's a airplane in the sky. It's birds behind me chirping. But this will be a really good representation of what the iPhone looks like and what it sounds like and all of these different elements if you were to use a setup like this. And I'm also not even locking the exposure. So if the exposure is jumping all around, that's gonna be a clear indication of what it looks like as well. But this would be like the easiest setup if you were just out creating content, vlogging, or if you just wanted to get some real stuff on the go. So yeah, I'm interested to see what it looks like, man. I really am interested to see how the log breaks down. Another thing that I forgot to mention about the Rode Video Mic Me C is that it comes with this dead uh, cat, this wind cover as well. So if you're out on the go, you wanna get really crispy audio, you can do that. Doesn't matter the conditions, it doesn't matter if it's windy. I think that that's really cool, especially for the price that you get this as well. Rode is really good at giving you 
these windscreen accessories. I like that a lot. The next item is this MagSafe hot shoe attachment for your phone. This is very similar to the tripod mount that I just showed you, but it just doesn't have the tripod attachment. So if you just wanna be light, nimble, not really have this huge thing sticking off the bottom of the phone, but still have the option to attach maybe a microphone to your phone, I think that it's cool. You can attach your microphone up here on top or just a light, whatever sort of thing that you wanna to add to it. But I like this because it's super minimal. It's not big. And if you just wanna go lightweight, not have a lot going on, this is a really cool option to do so. The next thing that I wanna talk is filters because Moment sent me a ton of different filters, man. They sent me variable indie filters. They sent me a gold Cine Flare filter. They also sent me Cine Bloom filters as well. And I'm gonna talk about how we can mount these filters to our phone. So this is the filter mount from Moment. And I like this because it is super duper simple. Like, let me just show you how simple this design is right here. So you have the screw right here, which uh, basically just screws down onto your phone. And then it just goes straight on the edge of it. And this has like a really soft layer over here on the other side of the screw as well. So you don't have to worry about screwing through your screen and, and messing that up or scratching it. So. You basically just screw that on and then it goes onto the outside of your phone like so. And then now you have the option to add a 67 millimeter filter onto your phone, which is awesome. Now, I'm a huge fan of Diffusion, especially on cell phones because I feel like cell phone footage just looks very sharpened. It looks very overly sharp. And I think that being able to add just a layer of Diffusion onto your phone could be really cool. So basically just screw that on like such. And now, you got some really cool Cine Bloom right there on your phone, you know? Get you some smooth looking video, take the edge off of it. It doesn't keep it super sharp. I like it a lot. And this is a 67 millimeter uh, filter as well. So that goes directly on the phone and it's super clean. One thing that I don't necessarily like about this mount right here, or just in conjunction with using it with some of the other attachments is that this is kind of big. So it doesn't really allow you to get that really solid stick when you're using uh, other MagSafe accessories. So let me just show you. So right here, you can see I am getting a little bit of a stick right there, but it falls off. If I really want to get that that mount, I mean like that, like that stick, that's the stick right there. You can see that ain't going nowhere. But now we've kind of compromised what's happening over here with the filter because it kind of slid off a little bit. So using this in conjunction with the, uh, the other filters doesn't really work. But if you want to be light, nimble, and um, just get some clean shots with this, you can do that. But also I have another filter option as well from Amazon that I'll show you in a second that does not have this problem. So that's the one place that this Amazon stuff is uh, kind of beating the Moment stuff. In terms of overall quality though, it's not even close. It's not even close. All of these filters that Moment sent to me though, if you have a lot of filters and you just want to condense them down and be able to travel and carry those in a really cool way, uh, this lens filter case right here is uh, another option as well. I think that this is dope. You can see has really uh, clean, minimal branding on it. It's just black, you open that up, and then once you open that up, you have a bunch of different spots that you can kind of store in your filter. So uh, let me just throw one in here so you guys can see what's happening. All right, so this is a look inside the bag. And you basically just slide your filter in like that. You have a space for another filter like right there. And then you also have two on the other side just to keep your filters nice, small, and in one central space. Now another option for you to be able to carry a around a bunch of filmmaking accessories and not look freaking hilarious doing so is this uh, Moment Travel Wear sling bag. And I like this a lot because it eliminates backpacks. You really don't want to use a backpack to carry around a bunch of mobile accessories because they aren't that big. So I think that this is a really cool option to do so that uh, it's clean and minimal. I like sling bags too. So this is the outside of the bag right here. You can see that minimal branding right there. And just you have this uh, outside pouch. Open that up. You got a a little bit of space inside of that you'd be able to store things and you also have this uh these two different areas right here which you can actually remove if you don't want these but i think that this could be really cool for like batteries or some other accessories for you to be able to store let's get into the main compartment though so main compartment right here has a ton of different space for you to be able to store a bunch of different mobile accessories and also your phone where you're on the go. So just open it up, you have this middle area. And one thing that I really like about this case that is so minimal that you don't necessarily even really think about is this uh, microfiber cloth right here. Just to be able to wipe off the lenses on your phone or just wipe off the screen before you take it out and go create with it, I think that that's cool. You got a pouch over here to the left, which is pretty much wide open. Then you also have a few smaller pouches over here on this left side as well. Then on this right side, you have uh, a big pouch as well. So this could be cool. And um, 
There's a lot of different slots for you to be able to organize your stuff and not have it all over the place. Another thing that I really like about this pouch is it has this bottom, uh, these bottom straps for you to be able to attach a mini tripod. So if you got this man Frodo right here, or you got like a gorilla pod, and you don't want to carry it or throw it in the bag, you can just attach it right here on the bottom like so. Click that in, and you get to go. You know what I mean? You moving, you want to go, and. Uh, Everything's small and lightweight. I think it's hilarious to have a huge camera backpack and have a bunch of different mobile accessories in it. So this is a cool option to not do that. The next thing for a moment is this MagSafe cage. Now this right here is really, really freaking cool. It has like the MagSafe attachment right here in the middle. But basically all you have to do is drop your phone straight in. And then now you have this mobile setup for you to be able to just kind of get some cool stable shots for your footage. Now. One really cool thing about, a couple really cool things about this cage is like, just aligned around the sides, it has a ton of different core to 20 thre uh, threads on it for you to be able to mount different accessories to it. You also have a 3 8 right here on the top, and then you also have two hot shoe mounts up here at the top. You wanna attach like a microphone, a light, uh, you can do that. You also have right here on the side, just this little raceway to be able to organize a cable that you might have coming out the bottom of the iPhone. Maybe you got an SSD attached out getting some cool uh, ProRes log footage. You can do that. You also have other mounting options on the side as well. Quarter 23 ace you want to attach like a really cool small rig handle to this, you can do so. I like this, man. I think that this is really, really cool. And um, it allows you to be able to build out your rig. If you out filming a music video, doing a short film, or just doing some cool stuff with your phone, I think that this is awesome. It's all metal, has a solid build to it, and it's way better than this other option that I'm about to show you, but the other option is cheaper, so keep that in mind. Now that's all of the moment stuff. Now let's get into some of this Amazon stuff that I picked up that is a little bit cheaper and um, another option as well. So the first thing is this JJC magnetic filter system. So this is a filter system similar to the moment one, but this one connects via uh, MagSafe, which is cool. So basically you just slap that right on the back of your phone like so, and it just lines up with the different cameras on the back of your phone. You can slap it around a little bit. You got a little bit of give with the uh, MagSafe. And from there, you basically just screw on the filter. Now the difference between that one and this one is this is a 49 millimeter thread, I believe. I do have a 49 millimeter filter, but it's just not with me. I'm not gonna go get it because it's gonna disrupt this video too much. But basically you just slide on your filter right there and um, you have the exact same solution as the moment one without the problem of not being able to attach your, your other MagSafe accessories because this also has a filter around it as well. So if you wanna use this filter system right here, right? You can still also use the moment tripod adapter as well. Just slap that straight on the back. So now you have both of these things on here. They're not going nowhere. They're both really super solid on there. And I think that that's dope. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this magnetic filter system that I'm showing you right here is this is technically for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but it still works. It works perfectly fine. It lines up with the cameras perfect. And uh, it also attaches via MagSafe, so it's really dope. Another thing that comes with this magnetic filter system as well is they give you like this uh, lens hood, which looks freaking ridiculous, but you can screw that on if you want to attach it and just kind of block out some of the glares that you might get from using a filter if you into that. It comes with that as well. Another thing that comes with this magnetic filter system is a case. Now, the problem with this case is that, like I said, it's technically for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but it still fits in there, you know? Like it still fits in there. The only difference is you don't have uh, the silent switch. You still got the, you got the action button. So that right there is kind of stuck in there, but it's still accessible if you want to hit it and use it for something. This case actually fits on here pretty snug too. Like it goes around the edges and it, uh, it also has the MagSafe on the back as well. So if you want to use the case, attach the magnetic filter system, attach the tripod attachment for a moment, throw the Manfrotto tripod on there, then attach the Rode video mic. You can do so. You can do all of these things. You can have all of these things attached to your phone and it's solid. It's not really going nowhere. You got a little bit of give right here on this, but I promise you, it's not gonna go nowhere. Like you got this attached, you out, you wanna go, you moving around, boom, 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 boom. It's, it's solid, it's working, you know? I think that that's cool. The next thing I wanna show you is a cage from the exact same company, JJC. Now this thing right here feels like crap in terms of quality compared to the moment one. This is all plastic and you can see right there, it's giving me a little bit of give if I, if I, um, 
if I try to bend it, you know, but it works. It works the exact same way. So inside the middle of the cage, you have the MagSafe attachment for your phone. Basically, you just slap that right there in the middle. And now you got two handles on the side with this, <laughs> with this, uh, with this Bluetooth trigger right here that you can use as well. If you want to start, stop your footage or even take photos, that slides right there in the right handle. You can even switch it to the left handle as well. And this is basically the cage. I think it's cool. It has a couple different hot shoe attachments on the top and also on the bottom of the cage. And another really cool thing about this cage is that you can actually take the handles off. So if you want to make this more lightweight, you can actually slide off the handles, take one off, and then you can take the other one off. And now you have a more smaller, lightweight, more nimble um, setup right here. Another really cool thing that you can do with this cage is now you can put these handles on the side. So say you want to film vertical footage, right? So now all you got to do to film vertical is slide your handles onto this side. So let me slide these on, show you what's happening. The left one, the right one, boom. Now you got a vertical cage. So if you want to film content for reals, you want to film uh, YouTube shorts content, now you can do that. You can attach different accessories up here at the top. You also have a quarter 20 up here. So if you want to attach something like a freaking man Frodo tripod, you can do that as well. And it also has space on the side of the cage as well for you to be able to attach a microphone. So you can use all of these things in conjunction with your rig and it just works fine, man. I think that is cool. So these are my recommendations for filmmaking accessories for the brand new iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. Do me a favor, man, head down to the comment section and let me know what was your favorite accessory in this entire haul. And um, you know what? I think I'm gonna give this stuff away. So if you made it to the end of this video and you are interested in any of these things, Drop me a comment down below, including your Instagram handle, because I got to reach out to you and let you know you want these things and get your address and all of that. I'll hit you up and let you know you want, all right? I don't think I'm going to use the majority of these things, to be completely honest with you. It's a couple mounts that I can definitely see myself using, but as far as a full-out cage for mobile filmmaking, I don't think I'm going to go that hard. But I know some people are out here in the world, and I know that some people genuinely enjoy creating that sort of content on their phone, but I don't think that's me. I like a couple mounts to be able to attach accessories and I'll use those. But for all this other stuff, I'll make sure to give it away. So head down to the comment section, drop me a comment, include your Instagram at, I'll reach out to you that you know you want to stuff, get a shit thought to you. But, but with that being said, I'm out y'all. Peace.